Uh, let's go ahead and get through some of the news quickly. Uh, BioHair, BioHair, BioWare heads leave. Uh, Casey Hudson and Mike Dar have both left the company, uh, with the former being the head of the Mass Effect franchise and Mike Dar being executive producer over Dragon Age. Uh, it's w- worth noting that the Mass Effect Legendary Collection is slated to come out this year with a uh, follow-up title coming out at a later date, as well as um, Dragon Age 4 coming out at a later date. Both of these had trailers at the Game Awards. Do you want um, me to help with, with this one? Because I helped look, look this up. Yeah, if you just want to go through it real quick. Yeah, so um, this the one thing that a lot of people know and also bioware fans know is this this actually isn't the first time that casey hudson has has left the company uh he left yeah he left about let me get the exact date for you the first time he left was right before anthem had come out if i remember correctly um it was like literally right before anthem didn't he Uh, leave it like the middle of its development and then come back to finish development like years later. Yeah. So he left right in the middle, which made people suddenly start, start to realize what's up with, with, with Anthem. Sadly, we found out. And then he came back a couple months after Anthem released to help. I apparently fix it. Uh, but then he was moved on to the new mass effect. As soon as that started development and he, and he was pretty open on, he was working on the new, Mass Effect, but then he then quit. At the same time as he quit, Mike, Mike, uh, Mark Dara, who had been working on the past Dragon Age franchise and had moved up to the producer role in Dragon Age uh, 4, whatever it's called, uh, he actually left too. Uh, but uh, EA has come out and said that uh, with them leaving does not, apparently it doesn't spell any trouble on Dragon Age or on the Mass Effect Legendary Collection. Uh, it has given a little bit of panic to to people about the new Mass Effect title because Casey Hudson was attached to that. He was working on that. Uh, as of right now, the new person running uh, uh, running Mass Effect will be Mike Mike Gamble, who has worked on every single entry of the franchise, including Andromeda and Dragon Age. Will be led by Samantha Ryan who, after doing research on on her, she has an extremely extensive background. She helped get Fear off of the ground back, a, back in the day, the first mm-hmm. Fear. And at the moment, she was at Warner Warner Brothers. I couldn't, and I think she worked Batman from what I could find. But before she's working on Dragon Age, she was, she was at EA working on the Plants vs. Zombies franchise. But now she's in charge of all of Dragon Age. <laughs> hmm. So, I, uh, I, I, I'm hmm? sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, I'm I'm just saying as a big Bioware fan, I'm, I'm a big Dragon Age person. I'm a big Mass Effect person. Seeing who they have in charge now, it sucks that Casey, Casey Hudson left. It sucks that uh, Mark, Mark Dara left. But seeing who they're putting in charge, I'm not exactly fully worried, especially after f- finding out uh, Gamble's history, especially with uh, Fear... Uh, if I think she did all the fear games, if I remember, or just like the first two, but she has an extensive background, so I'm not worried ab- about it. And putting, uh, uh, oh, sorry, R- Ryan, then putting Gamble in charge of Mass Effect, I'm not worried either, seeing as he has worked on every single one of the games. And it's cool to have an extra perspective that's not Hudson. Not that I don't like Hudson, I love his, I love his writing, but he also needs to choose where the hell he's gonna go. Because this dude apparently can just pick and choose at whim if he wants to leave or not. I think, well, for someone that's at a studio for that long, it's only natural you want to spread your wings to what other new opportunities. And he probably got offered a giant lump of sum, <laughs> uh, um, a lump of money to uh, to come back to try to help out Anthem, considering how much of a shit show it was when it launched, uh, let alone what it was like in the middle of development. But I've never been into the. Um, why am I why am I blanking? The uh, Dragon Age series, I just never managed to get into it. I can't, I don't really have an opinion on it one way or the other because of that. But Mass Effect is incredibly near and dear to me, and it's sad to see that the series is stagnated so bad. Um, I mean, I mean, I I trust the talents of the new people that are coming on, but that studio, and this goes for every studio. Um, af- after so much time has passed. And there's so much turnover. It's fundamentally not the same studio anymore. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not worried about Dragon Age 4, whatever it's going to be called. We already know that it's a sequel to Inquisition just from the story that we know of it. 
to me, I'm more wondering what's going to happen to the like unannounced Mass Effect project that which I personally thought was announced way too early. Plus, we already knew it existed. Like they had already posted that screenshot of that ship about two months ago. So we had already seen it. We didn't need this little teaser that maybe had Liara in it. I felt it was more interesting to see the, to see the Dragon Age stuff than it was the Mass Effect stuff. But I mean, I'm. It's not that I'm worried. About it. It's just Andromeda was like okay. Like I personally didn't have any issues with it. I know friends who absolutely hated it, and it killed their love of the love of the franchise. So Dragon Age, I'm not worried about Mass Effect. They have some shit they got to do. They got some stuff they got to clean. Like they need to get people back on that franchise because I don't know I how they're going to come back. <laughs> I, th- I think a lot of it just comes down to uh, production schedules and uh, production management. Not not so much like the individual talent of any given dev or like, um, I guess like the creative director. It's, it's a lot of mismanagement going on. 